I'm Adam Hammond. I'm a wildlife biologist and the bear project leader for the state of Georgia. Our bear bait station surveys are conducted in July and today we're coming out to determine what the visitation rate was on this particular survey. We're on the Chattahoochee National Forest. We're in Fannin and Gilmer counties today and we're going to be looking to see just how many visits we had from bears. It doesn't really indicate a certain population level as much as it does an index to population change. So over time, we can see trends in the population. For example, the survey's been conducted on these same exact routes since 1983, and basically we've done it every year or every other year since that time. And so the same exact routes have been run, and uh, over time we've seen an increase from 12% visitation back in 83 to a high of about 74%. And so we've seen a tremendous increase in the population over time. What we do is we put out sardine cans, and we put out three cans of sardines, and we leave them for, for five nights. And if you can imagine what sardines smell like after about five days in the heat, uh, not very good. We return to these same sites and check them to see if a bear has visited the station. And if they have, they'll usually take the sardines down. There'll be chew marks on the cans. There'll be claw marks on the trees uh, and other bear sign to indicate that the bear's been there. In North Georgia, we typically have hung three cans of sardines from a tree limb uh, that's going to be out of the reach of bears and also out of the reach of other animals. We try to force the bear to climb the tree so we'll have plenty of sign if indeed the bear visits. Uh, whereas in South Georgia and Middle Georgia where we also have bears, the survey has been conducted uh, historically with three cans of sardines but they've been nailed to the tree. And whereas we leave our stations out for five nights, in Middle and South Georgia, they typically leave theirs out for seven nights. So a little difference there, but we're not comparing the North Georgia population trend to the population trend in Middle and South Georgia. Each, each of the populations is sort of looked at independently. So the, the visitation rate that we're monitoring with the Bear Bait Station survey is just one piece of information that we collect. We also collect harvest data on bears. So every one of our bears in North Georgia that's legally harvested we collect age information, sex information, uh, sometimes DNA. We're also uh, monitoring roadkill bear information as that information comes in. And we also track human bear conflicts over time. So we've got several pieces of information that we look at and the bear bait station survey is one of those. And that same trend that we've observed with the visitation rate has also been observed with harvest data uh, in, in terms of our harvest going up over time. Uh, we also seen increases in human bear conflicts over time. And so, again, it just all kind of points to one thing, that we've got a, a healthy bear population in North Georgia.